Hey there YouTube Nation. Today we're going to be flying the uh, Piper Malibu from the uh, Heart of Georgia Regional Airport, or my school, to um, the Macon Airport, or Perry, um, what was it, Perry, Houston County Airport, or uh, what was it, Macon Downtown, something like that. Some airport out there, we'll fly to it. I'm currently on the before takeoff checklist right now. I saved you guys a lot of time, about like 30 minutes of uh, of pre-flights and startups and all that. So, um, this part of the checklist, we are currently on the uh, fuel selectors and fuels tank flight instruments checked, air conditioning is off, safety, uh, doors, belts, windows, and packs checked. And lineup checklist. Uh, approach is clear, final is clear, Runway is clear. Auto ignition is on. Landing lights. Landing lights, taxi lights, nav lights off. Uh, strobe lights on. And standby alternator is on. So in case we lose our generator, standby kicks in. Check our volts, check our amps, and standby uh, altimeter. Uh, Standby alternator is producing power right now, so we're good. All right. So we'll stop here. Uh, heading indicator is lined with uh, known heading of 020 or approximately. Uh, let's make a left hand turn to line it up all the way. And there is 020, and it's close enough. Uh, and uh, all right, now we're going to set our heading bug to the runway heading. Do an overspeed test. We have an overspeed. Now let's pull the power back. And rotate. Trim the airplane. Gear speed, positive rate, gear up. Lower the nose to accelerate to VY. Also, we're above the trees now, flaps coming up. There's VY, we'll pitch up to maintain that airspeed. We need to pull back the throttle here. Sats, we are toward ITTs and G, all temperature and pressure, all temperature and flaps. Okay. And my taxi light ignition is on auto right now. We'll keep, it, we'll keep the uh, ignition on auto. Um, altimeter and transition, camera pressurization on the engine instruments are checked. Alright. Oh, need a pull back on the power. We're over torquing right now. Actually, guys, here's a nice little flight. KDBN, that is Dublin. 
So let's go ahead and fly out to Dublin. It's a nice little flight. And we're not talking to Atlanta. We have not filed a VFR flight plan, so we don't have any set altitude to stay at. So we can do roller coasters if we want to, roller coasters being just going up and down on the altitude. But just for professional purposes, I'm just going to remain at uh, 3,500. There is 3,500. Cruise checklist, altimeters, power, uh, fuel selector, and tanks. Uh, tanks are balanced right now. Pressurization controls. Pressurization is not required. Um, engine instruments monitored are all in the green. Also, vacuum pressure is now in the green. Uh, it is at, it's at or above 4.8. Here's the airport out in front of us. Uh, let's get down with this checklist. Engine instruments and ice protection. Cruise checklist is complete. Um, descent checklist. Reached airports. Um, um, okay, there's Dublin right there. Uh, automated weather. Kilo Delta Bravo November. Automated weather observation. Two, one. Three zero zero five on the altimeter setting. So, altimeter, or correction, um, we need barometer. There it is. Three zero zero five. Um, briefing. We're just going to go ahead and make a straight in for this runway right here. Actually, we'll just go ahead and make we'll go ahead and make a uh, left downwind for the uh, whichever one we were coming in for. I don't know which runway that one is, um, but we'll just make a left downwind. Um, circuit breakers, breakers are all in. Nothing popped. And if a circuit breaker does pop, you have only one to reset it. If it pops again, put another breaker in there. If it pops again, then you probably have a electrical issue, and uh, should probably keep that circuit breaker out. Um, Directional gyros, uh, all of them are good. Heating is not required. Actually, correction, we have PDOT, PDOT heat on right now, which is heating our PDOT tube right now and keeping it nice and warm so that it doesn't build up in any, um, any ice onto it. Okay, so uh, descent checklist is complete. Next checklist is the approach checklist. Oop, forgot one thing on takeoff, and I also set that to altitude encoding so that Atlanta knows what we're doing, or actually who we are, what we're doing, and where we're going. And let's see who we are where we are and what we're doing okay wind three three five at seven I don't know which runway is closed here. Which runways are closed? Can't tell. Oh, 
the power back so that we can bring down our airspeed and begin putting our uh, getting the aircraft into its landing configuration which is gear and flaps coming down uh, propeller is full forward, mixture is full forward and we're standing by on the flaps and the gear We need to keep descending down. a little bit of wind there. Let's put the gear down. Okay, gear's coming down. Alright, approach checklist. Altimeter is set. Landing light, taxi light on. Strobe lights on. Navs off. Navs are not required during daytime operation as uh, stated by the FAA, if you read it in the Far Ames book, it is not required for daytime operations. Required for nighttime operations. So we're only going to be using the strobe light for um, for our daytime operations. Um, and fuel selector is on the fuller tank, which is right tank. the right page. And we'll do the final checklist once we go on to final. Alright, clear left. Standard degree, left hand turn. 20 degrees, no more than 30. And the approach, let's see, uh, final is clear. Gear down, flaps. Ignition, pressurization, condition, uh, air conditioning, uh, yaw damper, autopilot, and um, prop control, final approach speed to 80 knots. Everything is set. Final checklist is complete. Overshot the runway center line just by a little bit, but we can also turn in and correct for it. Put our last notch of flaps down. We are trying to land on the thousand foot markers. Alright, and put her in beta. And ease it out of beta. Let's 
see that barely any brakes were used during that landing. That's good too. Save wear on the brakes. So those things are pretty expensive. Alright, turn off here. And we are only clear of the runway once our tail passes the whole short line, which is just has. After landing checklist. Parking brake. Uh, after landing checklist. Auto ignition is off. Landing lights off. Taxi lights. Oop. Landing lights off. Taxi lights off. Strobe lights are off. Uh, stall heat is off. P dot heat is off. Um, all heating is off. Oops. Standby. Uh, transponders VFR and on standby. Flaps up and trim position is on on takeoff. After landing checklist is complete. Next checklist is the engine shutdown checklist. Hmm. I guess we'll go straight forward and just park up here. I'll take this parking here. from it will begin our turn. Slow it down just a little bit. Right there. That's good enough. Alright, parking brake is set. Taxi light is off. Uh, power control lever is idle. And we'll wait uh, a couple minutes just to let the engine cool down. Alright. Uh, radio masters off. All electrical switches are off. We'll turn our radios off. 5.30, the 4.30, and the uh, radar transponder is off. And I remember setting this one to standby, so that's off. Uh, all heating is off. And verify everything else is off. Let's turn these up here off. Auto transfer is off. And um, we'll shut the engine down now. Propeller controls full, uh, actually feathered. And battery masters off. Battery select switches on one. Engine shutdown checklist is complete. And there you have it. Short flight with the Piper Malibu. Uh, you can expect to see this airplane in a lot more videos. It's uh, pretty good. Um, sort of stable except for the approach. Uh, the, on the approach the airplane sort of tends to want to sink a little bit. Uh, just because it is a heavy airplane because of the engine and the uh, its frame. It's pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, Rate, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.